Hey there, my handsome women, pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. Today's minimalism video is actually going to be a subscriber request. A subscriber has asked me to show my closet. I've actually had two subscribers ask me. I had one ask me back in May, and I'm just, I just didn't feel ready to show you guys, but right now my closet is definitely in a better place. Um, I did mention on my Instagram that I kind of wanted to focus on taking my time, slowly decluttering my closet. I really didn't want to rush it. So if you're curious to see what my closet looks like, I would just say like my closet is just a regular minimalist closet. It is not an extreme closet by any means. I had an extreme closet back in 2020 during the pandemic where I got stuck in Taiwan with only one carry-on and that was not fun. I have definitely made a video about it. It is not for me. I have tried it. I can honestly say an extreme wardrobe as aspirational as it is. It's just not really functional for my lifestyle. Like it worked while I lived in Taiwan because Taiwan is a tropical island so you don't need as many garments but now that I live in Canada again it is so cold here and we definitely need a lot more like layers and sweaters so yeah I hope that that can kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective that what may work for somebody who lives in a warmer climate may not work for somebody living in a temperate weather and as a seasoned minimalist I just don't feel like being extreme or being dogmatic when there's really no need let's use minimalism to live our best lives so without further ado now that that intro is out of the way let's just get right into the closet tour let's get it let's go so I'm going to be showing you guys my closet. My closet is shared half of it with Will, half of it mine. So obviously you guys are going to know right away that the beige clothes are mine and the black clothes are Will. So I hope that you can keep that in mind that my closet is not just all my stuff. It's also Will's stuff. Here's the closet. Ta-da! So this is my current closet. Yeah, so this side over here, that's Will. So we'll just kind of push that more in will is not that minimalist he's not a minimalist so he just does his own tang so yeah that is will's side let's talk about my side because that's what you guys came for so this these are the pieces my winter pieces right now at the filming of this it is fall so i do have a lot of fall and winter clothes so we'll just go in order and then also down here i have a little stand because i have a lot of jumpers and sweaters and if you guys know that when you put it on hangers they start to take like this thing and it just ruins the knit so i don't like to do that i just recently picked these up like yesterday so i just stack them and it's just it's just so much better for the clothes especially as a minimalist i don't have a lot so i need to take care of my pieces my pieces are also like good quality and expensive and gifts like I'm obviously gonna cherish and take good care of my clothes so yeah okay so let's take a look at what's in my closet to kind of get a general idea a lot of my pieces are oversized I like to buy oversized and larges and medium so this is Nike in the oversized and I bought this from Marshalls I love it so much this is my first Nike piece and I can see why Nike is quite expensive the quality is definitely there, or at least the piece that I picked up. So I love this. This is like my cozy stay at home, sometimes pajama sweater. The next piece that I have is this one from Walmart, and this is from the Nobo, which is Nobo, which is no boundaries. This is like Walmart's junior line. I love their junior line. I think their junior line is amazing. I'm not tall, so I fit all of their junior line stuff. And I once heard that the junior line, the Nobo from Walmart, is literally just Aritzia dupe, and it is so true. It is literally Aritzia dupes. So I picked up this babe, and like just looking at it, would you ever think that this is from Walmart? No, and the quality, they do not compromise. The quality is so freaking soft love it i'm here for it walmart has definitely stepped up their game since the panini okay the next piece that i have this is also from walmart this is fruit of the loom I'll show you guys fruit of the loom i love this this oversized sweater is in like a true ash beige i have found that cool beige suits my skin tone a lot better because i am pale warmer t beige tones just don't fit me as well so i just i've just realized like that, that is just not for me so this is a definite keep. This babe was so cheap. This was nine bucks, guys. Can you believe it? And I've had it for about a year now and it's still going strong. Love it. The next piece that I have, I got this last year during Boxing Day sale. I got this from Uniqlo. Yeah, I got this from Uniqlo. This is a size medium because I like it a little bit oversized. So that's what it looks like. I usually use this when I'm doing work and I just need to be like warm and cozy. So that is what that is for. The next piece that I have, you know how you guys have like in your closet, like that bum shirt? Or like bum sweater that you use when you haven't like showered in days and everything's just gross as hell this is the one for me i'll be honest i don't like feeling gross in my like favorite shirts like in my favorite sweaters i need something that feels kind of bumish 
and this is the one for me this is actually a piece that i tried to declutter i have like washed it you guys can see how pilled that is it is super wrecked it is super like ugh but i realized that sometimes you just need that bum shirt and i'm not gonna be you know not practical and uh ruin another good sweater when the sweater will do just fine i got this from walmart i think this was 14.99 no i'm losing no sleep over this so yeah next oh my gosh this is a classic this is from my extreme minimalism days this is among one of the last pieces that i have in my extreme minimalism days if you guys are not an og subscriber i used to wear all black that was my attire i don't wear literally it's like among one of the last items that i have that are black except for like my running leggings but yeah it is an oversized uniqlo sweater it's not like furry lined or anything like that it's what size is this? it's a small but it is among one of my larger sweaters this was back when you know clothes making like super oversized like that was the trend i think the year was 2019 2018 so she's been around a long time i think i've had this thing for like about four years and it's going strong if you need clothes if you're minimalist and you need clothes to last you i highly 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 recommend uniqlo like i, I understand why minimalists go absolutely crazy over uniqlo nothing beats uniqlo in terms of quality and pricing i'm sorry aritzia but uniqlo Cloth does it better. Okay, the next thing that I have, this is also another shirt from Walmart. It's also an oversized, croppy type of sweater. This is also from Nobo. I cut it off because sometimes I don't like the tag showing. Sometimes it's itchy. But like, look at that stitching. Guys, would you ever think that this is Walmart? No, never. This just screams Aritzia vibe. I have some Aritzia pieces, but I don't have them here. I actually have them in my workout bin where I put my workout clothes. So I will show you guys that shortly in a sec. The next piece that I have is this one. This is literally the sweater that I wear for like every video that I film. If you guys have seen me wearing this sweater, it's the one that I film in all of my videos. So yeah, this is also from Uniqlo. You guys know that I am a like, I am a super big fan of Uniqlo. Love, 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 love Uniqlo. So that is in a medium because again, I like it slightly oversized. Over here in this corner, you can see that the hanger types are different. These are thin wires and these are thicker wires. I use, sorry, thicker wires, thicker hangers. I use the wooden type to help support the shoulder of my sweaters because I don't want my sweaters getting messed up. But these thinner ones, like it doesn't, I, I have, like it doesn't ruin it or at least I have found it doesn't ruin it. So if you're wondering, what these are i have mentioned these in videos these are actually my dress shirts that i would wear to clinic when i was still like in the dental office but since i'm waiting on my degree i have not used them but they are such good quality freaking amazing i'm not going to declutter beautiful classic staples just because i'm not currently using it for the sake of minimalism that is extremely wasteful i don't approve of that so we're not going to do that here so i'm going to keep these and i'm going to show you guys what i have so this is that really sheer top i was complaining about that i was going to declutter i've actually started wearing it more often i don't know it's like a love-hate relationship we're not gonna talk about it it's still here okay the next pieces these are a good example of the uniqlo exact same cut in different colorway they are literally the exact same dress tee from uniqlo in a size small because these just because like these are they're amazing and as a minimalist if i like it i'll just get it in every color so yeah <laughs> ash beige white light beige gray oh, if you're wondering what this is this is another cashmere sweater that i have from uniqlo which i pair over these but i'm not currently wearing it so i just kind of put it on the side there and then my favorite tee in the world my favorite shirt in the world this is wilfred in the size extra small it is a uh, pure silk it's so freaking soft i mostly wear this for like really special occasions or if i really really want to get dressed up then i will rock this but yeah so that is what's currently up there and then down here i have a couple more sweaters that i don't like to hang i'd rather just put them folded up so that they don't have that shoulder issue so um these are gifted pieces from simple retro i haven't gotten around to wearing some of these pieces so the tags are still on them i did wear this piece this, this piece was really nice so yeah that is what where my sweaters are this is like one of my favorite sweaters i love this you guys know that i love champion i think the quality is amazing the price is kind of middle tier it's not as expensive as aritzia but like it sometimes i have taken l's from walmart so when i need a middle of the road kind of sweater i go for a champion some long sleeves heat tech from uniqlo and then what i really like about this little stand is they are breakable so i can actually fold the legs and close this up because this is not my forever home i'm currently renting obviously i don't want to invest in like an ikea boudoir when i need to like 
like move again this is just so easy to like move and travel with so that's why i got this instead of the boudoir i was like i will hold off till i've moved out before i, I cop a boudoir if you're wondering what this box is so this was actually the box that i used for moving when we moved in i've actually only been here less than a year so i <laughs> still have a lot of my stuff i currently just use it for my change of towel and it fits perfectly in here so i just keep it in there and if you're wondering what these are, these are my house slippers. So these were a gift from my mom. They're the croc slides that I use for just chilling around the house. And now that it's gotten a lot colder, because we're already in October, so I needed a pair of like Ugg type of slides. I've recently discovered this brand. It's called Lamo, and it's like an amazing dupe for Uggs. Honestly, it's not even a dupe. They are in themselves an amazing brand, and I've just been copying Lamo. I copped the Lamo Uggs, and I copped these like little slippers. They're freaking amazing. I love them. I got them from um, Winners for 30 bucks and i'm just here for it because it's real sheep skin keeps your feet warm amazing as you guys can see i like i really like keeping my feet warm so those are my pieces i do have a boudoir with like some extra stuff but if you guys wanted to kind of see that like this is just like my closet tour this is what i normally wear i have inner shirts that i wear but i obviously don't keep it with my sweaters i keep it separately but if you guys want to see that actually i'm going to show you guys that another thing that i want to show you guys actually that's a really good hack if you are a minimalist i keep all of my summer clothes inside of my luggage it's just such a space saving hack that i picked up over the years and i see that other minimalists when they do their closet tours they do tend to show that i know that marine condo says you should have all of your clothes out together and i sometimes do do that but there's other times where it's like honestly if I did that, I would have summer clothes here in like Toronto's cold weather just out here hanging outside and it's like I would just have like my summer clothes out like eight months of the year not being used and it's like I don't know, it's just like a waste of space just because their summer months are just so short. So I just keep my shorts and my t-shirts tucked away inside of the luggage, out of sight, out of mind, tuck the luggage away and like we are good to go honestly everyone's minimalism is different that's just how i prefer to do it i have tried both i've tried having it out and having it in and i just feel like this is what works for me because i just don't want that visual clutter so here is the boudoir that i was talking about and this is where i keep like my underwear and my socks and then here i keep a couple of like undershirts for wearing underneath my sweater so if you guys want to take a look i can definitely show you that most of them is just literally beige colorways they are from uniqlo so this one is from taiwan and it's just a t-shirt and it says design studio in a very pretty ash beige then i have a simple gray tee from muji in the size large because muji is a japanese brand like an actual true japanese brand and the sizes run small so i needed a large because i'm actually quite tall by japanese standards i have a pr gift from i forgot the brand soul mia then i have an oversized beige shirt in a small from uniqlo i have another basic tee in brown from 50 percent which is a taiwanese brand i also have another a simple shirt in a large from uniqlo just a blank beige tee from the night market in taiwan uh, another oversized shirt in an extra large men's from uniqlo and another muji shirt in a large in an ash gray thing that i wanted to mention is that my closet has definitely grown a lot since i got monetized last year since i got monetized last year i've, I've had a lot of brands send me clothes so that is another reason why i have so much clothes you all know that i, I wasn't going to spend this kind of money on clothes myself but i am like super super grateful for you guys and for the brands because honestly brands wouldn't send me this stuff if you guys didn't watch my channel so that's just something that i wanted to disclaimer that as a minimalist the reason that i have more pieces than i think even i would agree is suitable for a minimalist but let's just be honest like if if you were in my shoes are you really gonna chuck stuff out just because they gave it to you for free i don't know me personally that's just i feel it's very wasteful i just don't feel comfortable doing that i'm actually very happy having an abundance of clothes it's just it actually makes my life easier um i remember really struggling to always have to wash my clothes all the time just because i had such a small amount of clothes one of the nice things about being an extreme minimalist is it really makes you appreciate an abundance because that sense of discipline just gives you like a different perspective so i don't know that's just me comment down below if you got sent free stuff would you would you declutter it all or would you keep it because I'm, I'm actually curious I, I wonder if this is just like a me thing or if like other people or like if other minimalists would agree comment that down below
and then the other drawer that I have here are my PJs I have more PJs than is like acceptable because we have two seasons we have cold seasons of you know Canadian winter and then we have the hot seasons in the summer where like no one's gonna turn on the aircon so I have like my summer pajamas and then I have my winter pajamas and I like to have a change of pajamas I remember when I used to have one set of pajamas I would sleep naked while my pajamas dried and I'm just not about that we're not doing that anymore we're not we're, we're here to live our best lives so that is why i have two pajama sets for both winter and summer and i'm going to show you guys here this is my running gear so i have i have heavy duty socks because i run in the snow i have my sports bras i have my sports shirts i have a uh, three change of sports clothes just because i run i run every single day with one rest day so like i sweat a lot so i need to have that change of clothes because i used to literally run with one gym clothes and there would be days where it's like it was just kind of start to smell and i couldn't wash it because then i would miss a workout day and that's not you living your best life so i was like we're not going to do that so that is the reason why i have more gym clothes because one i want to constantly have have gym clothes and two i don't want to run in, in dirty gym clothes so i made my piece that gymming and running and all that makes me live my best life so that's why i have i guess what would be more than what a minimalist has for gym clothes this is not clothes <laughs> this is just like hair stuff Oh, there you have it that is all of my clothes as I mentioned this is not a capsule wardrobe this is not an extreme minimalist wardrobe this is just a minimalist wardrobe I think it would probably be in the realm of a capsule I think I did count it once and I think I was at exactly about 30 items which I'm pretty satisfied with I don't feel like I need to count or be restrictive with the amount that I have this is actually the perfect amount for me where I don't have to struggle to worry about washing my clothes because I'll be honest that was not fun that's not for me <laughs> I don't know how like I respect that other minimalists want to have a smaller wardrobe but like for me I'm not gonna force it if I do end up having less because I've decluttered and I've done it in like a healthy way that's amazing but currently I'm so over the capsule and the minimalist extreme wardrobe it just kind of drove me insane uh, in 2020 I need a break from that I need to experience a bit of abundance and once I grow tired of the abundance then I think I'll curate some more so yeah Thank you for having taken the time to come watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.